Hello, today's video is on operations on real numbers, so that's just basically just um, adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. All right, rules are a little different when it comes to both of them. Um, when you're adding and subtracting, the best thing to do is think about a real number line. All right, so that's how we're going to be solving our problems on this side of the board. And uh, when you're multiplying and dividing, our rule is two negatives make a positive, and that's always the case when you're multiplying and dividing real numbers. So, first one, start out with something simple. Say we have 9 minus 12. All right, so if we're thinking about the number line, we know 9 is about right here, and if we're taking away 12 from it, so we're minusing 12, it's going to give us negative 3. Okay, 9, take away 12, brings us all the way back to negative 3. Okay, another one. Say we have 2, 8 minus a negative 7. And this is the same rule as here. Two negatives make a positive. So if you have a negative negative, really you can think of that as plus. So we could say 8 plus 7. And we know 8 plus 7 is just 15. Okay. Number 3. Say we have negative 4 minus 4. Now when you're subtracting negative numbers, you can think of it the same way, just like up here. Start at negative 4, and we're taking away 4 from that, so it's going to become a higher negative number. If we take away 4, it's going to become a negative 8, so negative 8. Okay, one more. Do some fractions though. So say we have two sevenths plus, so number four, two sevenths plus a negative three fifths. Okay? So another thing you need to know whenever you are adding a negative, that's the same as subtracting. So really what this is is two sevenths minus. 3 fifths. And then when we add and subtract fractions, we need a common denominator. So 7 and 5 both go into 35, so we multiply this by 5. Do it on the bottom, you gotta do it on the top. Same over here, but we're gonna multiply by 7. Okay? So, last step. Multiply these out, 5 times 2 is 10, over 35, minus 21, over 35. And you're just minusing the top, so we have 10 minus 21. Using that real number line, we get negative 11, over 35. Okay. Okay, so when we're multiplying and dividing, make sure to remember two negatives make positive. So say we had number 1, negative 4 times negative 7. Negative times a negative is a positive. Two negatives, count them up. 4 times 7 is positive 28. 2. Say we have negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 3. Well, we have two negatives here, so those are going to kind of cancel out. But since we have three negatives, only two cancel out, one stays. So our answer is going to be negative. So if you have an odd amount of negatives, it's going to be negative. If you have an even amount, it's going to be positive. Two times two is four, times three is 12. So we get negative 12. Okay. So say we have negative eight times 3.5. Okay. Well, we have a negative times a positive. Since there's only one odd amount of negatives, we get a negative for our answer. But we can also multiply it out how we usually do. Say we have negative 3.5 times 8. 8 times 5 is 40. 4 goes up here, and we add that. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28. And there's one decimal place. So 
that becomes 28. All right, and since there's one negative here, the answer is going to be negative 28. And one more of those. Say we have negative, negative 27 over negative 9. And if we're using order of operations, we know we do parentheses first. So we have two negatives in the parentheses, so those become positive. 27 divided by 9 is 3. So really we have negative 3. That negative is just like multiplying by a negative 1. So that's going to be negative 3 in the end anyways. Now some inequalities. And these are going to be true or false. Okay? Just state whether they're true or false. First one, say we have negative 1 less than or equal to negative 5. Alright? And again, you should always think about a real number line. Alright? So let's say we draw one here. Here's negative 1, or negative 5, and here's negative 1. The further left you go, the smaller these numbers are getting. So negative 5 should be smaller than negative 1. So this, negative 1 is less than negative 5, is not true. So this one's false. And you can use the number line for any of these problems. So number 2, 9 is greater than 9. We know 9 can't be greater than itself, so that one's false. Okay? If it's something like 2 is greater than or equal to 2, though, since that little equal sign is there, that means this is true. And 4. Um, negative 4 is less than 2. So. Yes, 4 is a higher number than 2, but since it's negative, if we look at the number line, 4 is definitely less than 2. So this is a true statement. Oops. True. Okay. Last thing I want to go over is um, PEMDAS. All right, and this is also called order of operations. All right, so please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. P E M D A S. And when we're doing this multiplication and division and addition and subtraction, those can go together. All right, so you can do these in either order. Or you could do these in either order. doesn't matter as long as you get the math right. First is parentheses or any form of grouping. So grouping. And this one's exponents. And you have to do it in this order. Or you're going to get it wrong. So start out with something a little bit easier. 19 minus 4 plus 2 times 3 squared. All right, well, have to do our grouping first, our parentheses. So everything in here has got to go first. And inside of that, we do exponents first. Then multiply, then we can add it to the 4. So this 4 is last. We get 19 minus 4 plus 2 times 3 squared means 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. So we get 19 minus 4 plus 2 times 9. Well, 2 times 9 is next, which is 18. So we have 19 minus 4 and 18 is 22. And if you think about a real number line, and we do have a smaller number minus a bigger number, so that's going to give us a negative 3. And one more of those. 
So number two. Bigger problem. 8 divided by 4 times 6 times, and if there's nothing between these two, you could just assume it's times. 4 squared minus 5 squared over 9 minus 4 plus 11. 9 minus 4 plus 11 minus 4 squared. Oops. 4 squared, 4 to the second power. Alright, next problem. Alright, whenever we have a division bar, that's another form of grouping. Alright, everything in the top has to go first, and everything in the bottom has to go first before you actually divide it. So, remember multiplication and division, you can do this in order. Um, we have 8 divided by 4. Um, which is 2. So we get 2 times 6 times, make this absolute value, we have 4 squared is 16 minus 5 squared is 25 all over. And we can start working on this too. We have 9 minus 4 is 5. We'll just write that out for now. Plus 11 minus 4 squared is 16. Alright, and we'll keep working on the top. We have 2 times 6 is 12. Use a different color. 12 times the absolute value. Well, 16 minus 25, that's a small number minus a big number. It's going to give us a negative 9. But what absolute value does is it makes anything in that positive. So we use the absolute values, make it 12 times positive 9 over 5 plus 11 is 16 minus 16 is 0. Well, there's a problem there. Yes, our top works out, but whenever we have some number divided by 0, doesn't matter what it is, 12 times 9 would be 108. So I'll actually write that out, 108 divided by 0. Well, we can't actually divide by 0. This is undefined. It actually does not exist. Because when you're thinking division, you think how many times does 0 go into 108? Well, 0 plus 0 plus 0 is still 0. It's never going to actually get to 108. So whenever you divide by 0, undefined. But if you have 0 divided by some number, even if it's 108, we would get 0. Because 108 goes into 0, 0 times. All right? And that's it for today.